I, Stephanie Bain, Stephanie Bain, I have a books, 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 I, I, I'm a book addict. There's so many books. <laughs> Hello everyone. It's been a very long time and I know this is usually not how you normally see me in the beginning. But today's video, I'm lazy. I do not feel like getting fancy. It's been a while since I filmed, obviously, because it's been a while since you've seen my face. I just took a shower and I was like, oh, I'm supposed to film a haul today. Yes. I did my comeback video after Irma with an unhaul. I'm doing my comeback video for the new year with a haul because it makes perfect sense. Two of the books I bought, but we'll get to that in a moment because that, for that portion, I'll actually like sit down and stuff. Hold on. I'm just getting a few necessities because I need to like finish cleaning my face. I figured I would talk to you before I started the haul portion fresh out of the shower because yellow. Um, also to explain why I haven't been filming. So as you guys know, back in October is when I stopped filming. I had like two or three videos. Um, I'm probably going to say I'm a lot I had ready to edit and upload, but in Oct mid October, my dog that I had, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know this, but my dog that I had had for almost 11 years got sick. Uh, long story short, I had to put her to sleep and it sucked because I had never put a dog to sleep before. I mean, I've had animals die on me, but putting it to sleep was different. Also, she was the first dog I've ever had to bottle feed she was like my best friend when I was in high school and I needed that the most so it sucked I didn't want to read obviously and then after that I just grew into a uh, oh crap it's been a month oh shit it's been two months and then I was like I just don't even have any motivation to film anymore so that's why it's gone on so long another thing is I have not been reading like at all since October I can't even tell you what the last book I read was. I really, I don't remember. That is what it is. Also, if you're curious, I use Witch Hazel as a toner. The Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Okay, this is falling. Um, so I haven't been reading because I wanted to write. That was one of my New Year's resolutions is, homegirl, you need to actually start writing. I have actually failed miserably on that because I'm actually doing pretty decent on another New Year's resolutions, which is getting my health back in order. I know it's always what everyone does, but um, after Irma and stuff, I gained like eight pounds. And I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but from the very beginning of my videos to now, I have actually lost about 40 pounds and I've stayed in that range of just losing 40. I want to keep losing and stuff. But when I saw that I gained eight pounds, I was like, holy crap. So... I have gone more focused into eating vegan. Disclaimer, I'm not vegan, okay? I never will be a full vegan. I eat more plant-based. I try to eliminate dairy though because dairy just, I'm lactose intolerant. It does not suit me well, but I do for the most part already eat a most plant-based diet. So I was just, shit, I dropped that, it's saying that. I'm just trying to take it a step further and being as strict as possible with it. I have already lost those eight pounds and a few more. And I just want to keep doing that. I'm feeling a lot better. I do need to get better though on actually like working out, at least cardio, walking for right now. I've had no motivation to do that. Not an excuse, just do it anyway. But another thing is this will probably be pause, the only haul you'll see from me for a very long while because I have absolutely no intentions of buying any books. Yes, that includes Iron Gold, um, The Case for Jamie, and I do not know or I don't remember what the last book is or the next book is. I hope it's not the last book for the Red Queen series. <sighs> I'm not buying those right now. I want to read Iron Gold so bad, like you have no idea. I had pre-ordered it back in December and then I was like, Stephanie, cancel that pre-order. I'm sorry, Pierce Brown. After what happened with my dog, I need to save $600 to do a surgery on my other dog who is only five years old, but it's a lot of money and there's just a lot of things that I'm saving up for. So it's not like, 
oh I'm just doing one thing it's a few things and I'm so I, I don't need to spend money on books right now I have plenty of unread books so I'm taking serious the whole no buying now I do have a gift card that my sister got me for Valentine's Day from Burns Noble and I still don't know if I'm going to buy a book I almost feel like that's like cheating that's a loophole and I don't want to do loopholes because I also want to force myself to read these books whether it's been a review book or a gift or whatever I need to read them I will come back to you guys in a moment dressed because I also have a little thing to show you it's a really cute little thing and a little backstory too this video might be long I apologize ahead of time this is the cute little something I wanted to show you her name is Olivia I think she wants food but you already had your last meal of the day she is a cute little Himalayan she's a couple years old she's adorable she melts my heart She's a little psycho. Wakes me up at like four every morning. And if my mom and dad aren't up early because he, my dad goes to work really early, then she scratches at my door so I can feed her her first meal of the day. Huh? Isn't that right, gorgeous? Because you're psychotic. I think she's adorable. She wants me to put her down. Okay, I'll let you go. Go. She was like, peace out. So the story behind her is our neighbors, um, they got kicked out of where they were living and the original owner of her had left previously, but they stayed with her. And when they left, they left her inside the house. I had always seen that cat in the window sitting there. I always thought she was a cutie. So when I realized that it's been a week and a couple of days and holy shit, there's animals inside an abandoned house with no electricity, no nothing, we were able to open the door and let them out. And she kind of stayed around the area because there was a one other one, but he's like long gone. Um, she stayed in the area and we fed her because we felt horrible. You could tell she was weak and she was just exhausted. And then we found out she was fixed from the original owner and I had already fallen in love with her. Like, we took in Ella, which was the one that passed away, in her time of need, and this one was in her time of need. She's a couple of years old, and when we saw she was fixed, we were like, yes. Yeah. So we took her to the vet. She's healthy. She's good. We've had her for a little over a month, and I adore her. She really is fucking psychotic, though. But she's the cutest little thing ever, and at least now Pinky, which is my little white one, I'll show you her later if you don't remember her, is not as alone. She likes to chase the cat around, but they do really well with each other. And, like, Olivia is the quietest little thing. She only meows when she wants me to get out of my room or when she wants food. But it's not, like, constant. And it's the softest little meow. But I adore her. And even though I miss Ella like crazy still, after time, like, she really did help. And I'm just like, you're the cutest thing ever. I'm so, like, I, I hate that they left her. But at the same time, I'm like, you were meant to be mine. Now we're getting into the haul portion of this video. I have a few books here. Um, most of these, except for two, were all sent to me. I apologize in advance. I do not remember what a lot of these books were about. I'm not even going to get into it. I will leave links to all of the books down below. So if you're curious about them, you can go ahead and check them out yourself. I know some of these were just, I think two were just sent to me, if I'm correct. But the other ones are ones that obviously I was interested in. Because either I really love the publishing company or that reason. Or also it was just sent to me because I received the first book. So I'll just start off with the first two that I personally bought myself. I got these for my birthday. Um, my mom got them for me. And my dad, of course. Was it my birthday? Pinky! Uh, not right now. The first book I have here that I forgot what I got it for, I think it was my birthday, is One Dark Throne by Kendar Blake. Which is the book I'm going to start reading because... Last year, the first book I read of the year was Three Dark Crowns, and it was such an epic way to start the year that I'm excited to start reading One Dark Throne. I think this is such a great fantasy series. I don't know if it's more than just two books. I have an inkling this is just a duology. I'll figure it out as I finish it. I'm really excited about this one. This is also the Barnes & Noble exclusive, so it has like the bonus scene. I love that it's bigger than the first one. The next book I have here is Haunting the Deep by Adriana Mather. This is the sequel to How to Hang a Witch, which was another book that I really loved from last year. 
let me know if you guys still want, but I might still do my favorites of last year. I didn't read a crazy amount, but I think I'm going to narrow it down to five books easily. The next one was a gift, and fuck, I forgot the other thing that she gave me. But I'm really lazy, so maybe I'll remember to show it later. But my very dear friend, um, Sherry from Pink Eye Pro on Instagram, who has, again, she does my favorite photos. And I'm not just saying that because she's a good friend of mine. Like, literally, her photos are fucking awesome. But for my birthday, she sent me a few things, and that she really does know, just like, not that you need to give me anything, and I always tell her that. Maggie? Unnecessary. Yeah, go on. Um, But she got me a beautiful outlander journal and little house on the prairie. It is so nice. I'm so excited. Like, it's the cutest addition, too. I also have here the sequel to a book that they sent me because I received the first one from them from, uh, what fucking publishing? Entangle Team. There you go. And that is Seize Today, which is the second book to, what is it? Forget Tomorrow. Oh, yeah, and I have the second one here. Sorry, this is the third book in that trilogy because it's forget tomorrow remember yesterday and then seize today obviously still haven't read the last two the first book was not bad i do have a review if i remember i'll link it down below um i i'm excited i love these covers one this is seriously by it's very butterfly effect and honestly it's just one of my all-time favorite book covers ever they're so simple and so beautiful the next one i have here sent to me by atria books which I don't know if you guys know this. I love Atria books. They're great, like, what do you call it? Smaller company within Simon & Schuster. I don't know how you say it. But this is Wish You Were Here. And I honestly do not remember this one, but it has to do with a girl. It's a woman. It's like a nice adult novel. I'm excited. I love the cover. Never a reason to get a book, but that's what I'm just telling you. The next is um, a advanced course copy this book already came out I do know that actually I think it just came out very recently and this is one that I'm excited to read um because this has to do with a war against a woman not a woman <laughs> it's just about war and it's like you know it's about a prophecy that needs to be fulfilled and stuff and it's called the Vikings Chosen by Quinn Loftus did I say that this was by Renee Carlino I don't think I did this is from Clean Teen Publishing, which also has a f one of my like favorite like low grade fantasy books. From that, it's awesome. The next one is How I Lost You by Jenny Blackhurst. This one had to do about a murder of a son and like things happening. That's all I'm saying. Also, this is by Atria Books. Then I have one from a YouTuber that I have actually never personally seen, but they contacted me and I really wanted to do this because I have never um, read like a lot of books like this and I do want to bring more variety to my channel. I do have books I need to read that are like for variety, but still haven't done it. And this is Dottie, Secrets for the Mad, Obsessions, Confessions, and Life Lessons. She is a YouTuber. Uh, what is she is a 20 year old 22 year old musician from London yeah she's just I think Dottie on YouTube I could be wrong I mean I know she's a YouTuber I just don't know if her name is Dottie something or not but I'm very excited about this if I'm correct this is just like little short stories and like writings and stuff and I'm very excited to read this uh, I don't know if you guys will watch Megan Hughes but I follow her for a very long time now she read it and she enjoyed it so I was it's even more intriguing this is the one that honestly got me confused because this is a review copy not for sale but it's hardcover like are they not coming normal anyway this was I think the last advanced copy that I received and I was just confused but this is Danger Crossing by Rachel Riss this is also by Atria Books Atria Books I just love them I really do do I know what this is about no Oh, 1939. I don't remember. I, I know, I think, this one did I get an email about? I'm not sure. Europe is on the brink of war when young Louis Trevor brings an ocean liner in England. Brought for, ooh, bound for Australia. Oh my god. I love Australia. I want to go back so bad. 
Okay, I'm excited. I don't even want to read anymore. I like going into books, honestly, not knowing a lot. If I accepted it or... I don't even remember if I got an email about this or not. That's besides the point. That is my book haul portion of this video. Alrighty, am I actually filming? Let me check. Yes, I'm sorry if like the angle is ever weird because I'm not used to holding. I'm actually using my filming camera, even for the holding portions. And it's not huge, but it's a little bit bigger. I'm gonna eat dinner. I'll show you my dinner. It's corn, tapatio, cause you know, hot sauce. Uh, there's beans, rice, and a shit ton of red onions. Ta-da. Like, it's not like a whole lot of rice. Oh, and guacamole. It's amazing. I also was too lazy to cook anything. If I had most of all that stuff, I just had to heat it up. I'm going to edit. And then, yeah. I'll see what I end up doing. Whether I end up reading or watching a movie. Or maybe I watch a movie and then read. I have no idea right now. She is so fucking cute but refuses to finish her food. She'll eat in a bit. Oh, yep, I see a cat here. Right there. The fan's also, like, right above her if you're wondering why she's squinting. And she's, like, half asleep. Peace out. I am progressively getting, like, stuffier. I know I'm getting a little sick, so instead of reading, because I was going to start reading One Dark Throne, I feel like I have to sneeze. I'm actually just gonna watch Teen Witch. I haven't seen that in a really long time and I'm just in the mood, so that's what I'm gonna do. But uh, maybe I'll vlog tomorrow. This will probably be up Saturday. It's Friday right now. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my videos may or may not be more along this line. But I'll see you then. I hope you have a great reading day. Watch movies. Have fun. Whatever it is. Stay safe, please. And yeah. Bye, everyone.